हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार होप ऑल यू आर डूइंग ऑसम वी वेलकम यू ऑल टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ अवर चैनल थ्रू द लेंस दिस व्लॉग इज ऑन मैसूर पैलेस व्हिच वी विजिटेड रिसेंटली द मोस्ट टूरिस्ट विजिटेड पैलेस इन द होल वर्ल्ड इज द अंबा विलास पैलेस इन मैसूर पॉपुलरली नोन एज मैसूर पैलेस This is the model of the old palace that got destroyed in 1897 due to fire. Cannons which were gifted by British to Maharaja are also in display. Many dolls that were received as a gift by the Maharaja are displayed in dolls gallery known as Gombe Totti in Kannada along with other dolls collection of royal family. These are worshiped during the Dasara festivities also fondly known as Gombe Habba locally. This is elephant entrance gate made of brass and imported from England. The emblem of the king is also engraved on the gate. The palace was constructed by Nalwadi Krishnaraja Wadayar between 1897 to 1912. The chief architect is Henry Irwin. Some of the interiors are done by Raghavalu Naidu. The royal palace is constructed on 4 acres of land and stands majestically amidst sprawling gardens with a total boundary of 72 acres. At the beginning visitors can see octagon shaped marriage hall The Amba Vilas Palace is known for its splendid Indo-Saracenic architectural beauty The palace has luxurious and spacious halls decked up with mesmerizing and colorful pillars The floors and walls have imported tiles and the doors and ceilings are carved out of teak wood Imported chandeliers, dressing mirrors and tables add more beauty to the palace. Marbles and granites are used in staircases. The palace is a 3-story structure with a 145 feet 5-story tower and marble domes and is surrounded by a sprawling garden. Entry ticket to the palace for adults is 100 rupees. Timings of the palace is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on all days except during Dasara Navaratri festivities. During holidays, weekends and Dasara, illumination of the palace will be done between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. 97200 bulbs are used to illuminate this marvelous palace. A section of the palace is dedicated to the paintings depicting the royal family members. In the dressing room of the royals silver chairs which were used by them are kept currently along with a painting of elephant procession framed by original elephant tusks The Dasara procession paintings on display enthralls the visitors and surprisingly they are the recreation based on exterior's black and white photographs and are not imaginary artwork More astonishing fact is that all of them are having 3D effect. Visitors can also witness many invitation boxes made of sandalwood and ivory which were received by the royals. There are hollow bronze jaguars placed inside and outside the palace. Barring the eyes and tusks, these two heads are of real elephants.
the royal family resides on the back side of amba vilas palace even now the golden howda in which the idol of goddess chamundi is carried during dasara procession is also on display near the gombe totti the total weight of this howda is 750 kg and the gold content in it is 80 kg There are 42 pillars in this darbar hall and is one of the major attractions of the palace. The speciality of these arches design is that one can see all the arches till the last one standing in one place. There are two original paintings of famous Indian painter and artist Raja Ravi Verma inside Amba Vilas Palace. Dashavatara is painted on the ceiling in the observatory gallery of the palace. The darbar lift is maintained in excellent working condition even to this date. Also, Atma Vilasa Ganapati Swami Temple is inside the palace near the darbar lift. Due to the presence of this deity and to protect the paintings, footwear is strictly prohibited inside the palace. This is the grand private darbar hall. During the private darbar, Maharaja Yaduvir Krishnadatta Chamaraja Wadayar, attired in traditional royal robes, ascends the 800-year-old 280 kg golden throne at the darbar hall and holds a private darbar on all nine days during Dasara Navaratri festivities. I was very lucky as I got a golden opportunity to see the grand golden throne as Navratri is round the corner. The per head ticket price was Rs. 50 to see this throne. However, photography was obviously strictly prohibited. The throne would be on public display for a very limited time as most of the time it would be confined to the strong room in a dissembled state. It would be assembled once a year during Navratri for the Maharaja's private darbar. At the entrance of the private darbar hall, the doors are made of elephant tusks.
within the amba vilas palace premises and scattered all along the walls are many temples associated with the royal household which are still functioning to this day of these the shri lakshmi ramana swami temple is of immense importance since it is among the oldest and royals were crowned here Although there are five gates around the palace only two gates are open to the tourists to enter to the palace one is from the north gate and the other is from the south gate main gate on the east side is called as jayamartanda gate as with any historical place availing the service of authorized licensed guides from department of tourism available inside the palace premises is highly recommended to understand the beautiful history of the magnificent palace and the artifacts kept inside it I have tried to cover this beautiful palace from all the possible angles and information hope you will like this video if you do then do like this video and share it with friends and family also consider to subscribe to our channel Preparation for the 2022 Dasara festival celebration is in full swing and is planned to be celebrated in a grand way as the previous 2 years celebration was confined to the palace premises due to the pandemic.
वी विल मीट यू इन अनदर वीडियो ऑन ए न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग प्लेस टिल देन टेक केयर एंड हैप्पी ट्रैवलिंग